Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video here on Watts Wildlife. Today, guys, I've got a video that I've been promising for a while, and um, that is the video that is showing you the Topaz Denoise AI software. I've been talking about this software for a while. I've been promising to make this video for a while, and I'm finally making it today, and I'm showing you guys this really awesome software that I think every wildlife photographer needs to have. And I do want to briefly disclose that no, I'm not sponsored by Topaz. They're not paying me to say this. I genuinely just think that this is such a great piece of software for wildlife photographers and believe that any wildlife photographer out there should have this software. Um, that's just as simple as it is. I use this on many, many of my photos. As you'll see here, some of the photos that you've already seen me use in previous videos or post on Instagram were used in this software. And um, this is my own thoughts on this product, on this software. And um, I just think that it's software that every wildlife photographer should be aware of because it works really, really well. But anyways, I've got some example images here. And um, basically what this does is applies a very intelligent denoising to your photos. Um, because with wildlife photography, as many of you will know, oftentimes you're shooting in lighting that isn't super bright. You're shooting in early morning and late evening when the wildlife is most active. And um, in those scenarios, you're having to use a high shutter speed because um, you know, you've got to stop the motion of that animal. Um, but you're also, you know, using long telephoto lenses. And on a lot of these lenses, you know, mine in particular, I used a Canon 100 to 400, only goes to f5.6. Um, now, if you have, you know, an f4.600 lens or something like that, obviously you're a little better off. But still, in these dark conditions, a lot of times you're going to end up having to raise those ISOs up. This software solves the problem that high ISOs create. This solves that noise that you get in your images with high ISOs. And when I first heard of this software, you know, I wasn't really sure what it was, but I knew that, you know, a lot of people were anti-denoise softwares because, you know, oftentimes they don't work very well and they make the whole image soft. Um, but that is not the case with this software. Now, I do have four sample images here that I took last year um, that I thought would be good candidates for this, um, just to show you guys how this program works, that uh, go across a varying range of ISOs. Um, so this first one is at 1250 ISO here, and this was of a prairie dog um, in the Badlands. And this next one was actually taken outside in my backyard um, last summer. This was at 2500 ISO, so you can see there that you're getting a little bit higher on the ISOs. And this last one is really going to put it to the test. This one was shot at 8000 ISO. And, um, you know, we're going to see if this software can recover this image at 8000 ISO. Because as you can see here, it is very, very noisy. I mean, you've lost so much of your sharpness. You've lost pretty much all the detail in the fur in this image because the ISOs are just so high. Um, and you can see that when I zoom in here. Um, so we'll see how it does on this image. We're going to go through these one by one and run them through this Topaz software and show you guys the results. So we're going to start by opening this one here up in Topaz Denoise. You can see here that if I go ahead and uh, click on it and do edit in, you can import it straight into Topaz. And you can see here, once you've got the program open, you can go ahead and log in. And then you have your image here. And you can see that this image really isn't too bad on ISO. It's mainly up here above the prairie dog, you get some noise and you can just kind of see you know, noise throughout the landscape, especially in this bokeh in the background, you just have a lot of noise. And then if I even go down to the prairie dog, you can see that you've lost a substantial amount of detail and sharpness there on the prairie dog um, due to the noise here. And this was only at 1250 ISO, so this isn't particularly high, but you can go ahead and see, have my remove noise set on 15 here and the sharpen on 15 as well. Those are just the default settings, but you can actually choose to uh, let it do the work for you. And I uh, choose that auto. And I'm just gonna pull this slider over it and you can see what this does to your image. So look at that, before and after. So you clean up all of the noise in the background. I mean, that's just a smooth background. That's as clean as 100 ISO or lower. Beautiful background. And then it also sharpens this image where it's lost so much detail in the fur of the prairie dog. Like if you look, especially right around the eye here, look at how much sharper that is now. Or if you look right over here in the ear at the detail in there, Look how much more detail is regained when you pull the slider over. And obviously you can play with these and you know you can bring your noise removal up if you want to bring that up to 15. Maybe bring your sharpen down some. I don't like to sharpen mine all the way so you know maybe uh, 25. And we'll just see what that looks like. And you can see here that you can get a pretty clean image here with this software. That it really does clean up your image and uh, make your animal stand out. And if I want to add a little more sharpening here, maybe go up to 30, um, we will go ahead and apply this. And um, then I'll show you the full image and what that looks like with the denoise applied. So it's going to take a minute here to process, but once we do get that image out, you will see that um, virtually 
all of the detail that was lost is regained with this software. And it's very, very impressive here. And so now here is your fully denoised photo after being run through the software. And you can just see how much more detail we have now, how smooth that background is compared to the noisy background from before. Um, just all the noise was taken out of this photo and it just looks so so much better now So really really great job on this image as you can see really took all the noise out of the background and out of the animal But still maintained all of the detail and all the sharpness in the animal and in its fur as well So just amazing job on that and then we'll move over onto this one at 2500 ISO This one is pretty darn noisy too as you can see if you look Around the head of the deer, um, a lot of noise on the face, around it, in the uh, background, in the bokeh there. And um, just overall is not quite as sharp as I, I would like it to be here. Um, you know, the fur has lost some detail and is very noisy. Just can definitely do better than this. Um, so we're going to open this up in Topaz Denoise as well. Um, and just go ahead and import it over to there. Um, Topaz will open right up as you can see here. And then we're going to go ahead and do the auto settings on this as well. And as you can see, it set it to... Um, 19 on remove noise and 42 on sharpen and then as you can see when I slide it over boom look at the recovery on that photo really unreal how well this program does with maintaining the detail in the animal but removing the noise from the background I mean that is a clean background fully now you can see in the animal's face and in its fur um, you know looking down on its neck and everything here that you know you've removed most of the noise there um, but you've maintained all the detail um, the eye now looks just, you know, real smoothed over and everything. Just does an awesome job of, of maintaining the detail and um, re still removing the noise at the same time. And I'm going to adjust this a little bit. I think I'm actually going to turn up the noise removal because that first still has a good amount of noise in it. And I may even turn down sharpen to like 35 here and see what we get. And I think that looks a little bit better there. You've removed some more of that noise and, um, you know, sharpening is not so strong. So it doesn't look so bad in the fur. Um, but really just the recovery is really really awesome and this isn't as good as it did on the 1250 ISO image in my opinion um, But still really really good still, you know Not super noticeable that it's had noise reduction done on the photo and in some photos when you're shooting in low light The case even is that you might want to turn on low light mode over here and just you know See what that does sometimes I've had that really bring the image together and I don't know if it will on this one But sometimes it's worth at least trying it and seeing and you can see there that when I turn that on it actually removed a little bit more of the noise i believe in the deer um yeah i think that actually did a little bit more noise removal so that's nice and then you can even go in and um down here in the post processing tab if you want you can recover some of that original detail you can turn up the color noise reduction um and play with those sliders as well to see what you want to get out of it and um yeah you can just see that this software does an incredible job removing the noise and um really really impressed with topaz denoise so finally now we're going to test it out on the 8000 iso image and see how well it does noise removal but you can already see on these two images that it does a phenomenal job but um when we get up there into the really really high isos um we're going to put it to the test with that and um see how it does on this 8000 iso image so we're going to go ahead and take this image here and edit in topaz denoise ai there and um, we'll go ahead and open that up. And this is a program that is very, very powerful. So you may even be able to hear my computer um, humming in the background because Topaz takes a lot of power to run. So keep that in mind. Um, if your computer can run Lightroom and Photoshop, you're probably good. It'll, it'll run Topaz as well, but it does take a lot of power and you have to have a pretty powerful computer to be able to run this program. But anyways, let's go ahead and set this to auto and see what that does. And as you can see here, we have the moment of truth. You can see how noisy this is. I mean, there's basically no detail left in the fur. It's extremely noisy, um, but we'll see what Topaz can recover. And honestly, not a terrible job, not a terrible job at all. Um, if we scroll up here to the background and the bokeh in the background, you can see that it has completely removed the noise from that. I mean, look at the stark contrast between this side over here and this side over here. It has totally knocked the noise out of that. So that's really nice there. Um, but at 8000 ISO, it is struggling a little bit on the um, actual, you know, the, the stuff that you want to keep the detail and the texture in, um, such as the deer here. You can see on the antlers, um, on the fur and the ear. It struggled. It struggled a lot. Um, it's leaving a lot of the noise right there in the ear, as you can see. Um, and on the face, it's smoothing things out a little bit too much. So I'm going to play with this a little bit and kind of see what we can do. I'm going to keep the remove noise where it's at. I think I'm going to turn on low light mode. And I think um, sharpen, I may turn up to around 50 and maybe even 
actually bump this noise up to 30 and we'll see what that does to the image and see if that helps recover anything. Um, and as you can see, you have taken a lot more now of that noise out of the image, but it is a lot softer now. Um, so I don't know. I mean, maybe if we bump it all the way up. I've never bumped it up this high, but let's bump it up to 100 on Sharpen and just see what this does. See how it recovers this image here. Um, and honestly, not a bad job at all. At 100 on Sharpen, 30 remove noise, and then um, the low light mode on. I'm honestly shocked with how good that result is. That's that's really impressive. I mean, look at the amount of noise in that photo and in all the detail in the fur and everything. And then look at this, it has recovered a lot of that detail. I'm honestly really impressed with that. That just goes to show guys the power of Topaz. This program is ridiculously powerful. Um, 8,000 ISO here on the Canon 80D. Typically, I wouldn't even try to edit this shot. I mean, if, if I didn't have a program like Topaz, Look at the amount of noise that you're seeing here. This would not be worth anything. I would never edit it. I would just trash it. But with a program like this, images like these are actually salvageable. I mean, this isn't by any means great. You can definitely tell that this has had some post-processing work done. And you can definitely tell that there's been a lot of, you know, sharpening and denoise done to this image when you look at it. It doesn't look necessarily great but it looks decent, it looks presentable, and this is 100% an image that could be posted on Instagram. I mean, with the small size of an Instagram photo, um, you know, with this much noise, I wouldn't post it on Instagram, even though it's small, but with something like this cleaned up by Topaz, this is 100% uh, postable for Instagram. So. I'm honestly really impressed with this program and really impressed with what it's been able to do for these photos. So guys, that is Topaz Denoise AI. As I stated at the start of this video, this is a program that I absolutely love and um, you can honestly see why. I mean, it does an awesome job at removing noise from your wildlife images or any images with high ISOs and um, just really cleans them up and just really makes it look as though there was never any you know, noise problem there. You know, It maintains all the sharpness that you had in your image and takes all the noise out of the background and out of all the detailed areas that you want that sharpness and detail to remain in in the image. Um, and obviously you saw as you get higher in ISOs, it struggles more, um, but especially in those lower ISOs, you know, you can pretty much recover most of the detail and still make it a presentable photo. Um, so Topaz is an awesome program and it really opens up a whole world of possibilities for wildlife photographers because you can now shoot at these high ISOs that, you know, in the past, you would have never even shot at because the photos wouldn't have been presentable. Now some of those photos you're going to be able to recover and um, that is what is so great about Topaz. It really opens up the door to using a much higher ISO than we could use before. I highly recommend getting this program if you haven't already. This is not in any way sponsored or anything like that. I just really love this program. I think that it's really great for noise reduction and so I wanted to do a video on it to show all the wildlife photographers out there who don't know about this and don't already have it. Um, the possibilities of having this program. And I believe it costs about $80, maybe $100. So it's not too bad. Um, and it really can help your images out. So, um, you know, go ahead and pick Topaz up if you haven't already. I think it's going to be very helpful for you and I think you won't regret it. And um, that is the end of this video. There's your tutorial on Topaz Denoise AI. And there you have some pretty good examples of Topaz in action. So um, thank you all so much for watching. If you have stuck around to this point, um, I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you haven't already, please do not forget to like this video and comment down below. Let me know what you all thought. And as always, most importantly, please do not forget to subscribe to be entered for that 1000 subscriber Manatee Swim giveaway video. Thank you all again for watching and I will see you all in the next video.